Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room. We have another Spellbinders card kit <laughs> this month. I did decide to go ahead and get it just by the sample pictures. It really does look like something I would use. So I was like, okay, we'll do it. <laughs> we had a little bit of a mishap with the box. So I wanted to make sure everything was here and I'm a little mad. <laughs> Everything is kind of covered in dirt. Um, some things are worse than others, but something happened and it was just open. But we do have everything in here. It seems like their shipping just is always going to have issues. It's either going to be late or it's going to be open. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know if I'm going to do next month or not. But hopefully if I do, they'll get their stuff together. <laughs> but this is the Sincerely Yours unboxing, but I've already unboxed it technically. We're going to go through it together though. So, <laughs> there are some issues because, you know, the card bases are a little dirty. The envelopes are a little dirty. It looks like it's all pretty much just wipeable but it was a mess so we have the 10 cards 10 envelopes we have some puffy stickers or wait yeah I think these are the puffy stickers I like these a lot actually a lot more than the ones that we got last time although I would have rather had two of each yeah like there's hay but ones because I like to make duplicates but I guess we'll just have to do single card sets <laughs> we also get the stamp set which I was very much okay with this one is a very cute and specifically you bring the sunshine because I'm working with a lot of yellow recently Happiness blooms from within. Have a lovely day. There are brighter days ahead. Hello, darling friend. Good heart. Strong spirit. Kind soul. True friend. And then this little envelope right here. Oh. Some rainbows. And then some flowers and hearts. I love the hearts. I don't think I have a heart that size. And then love you a bunch. And then we have this mug with some flowers in it. I don't think there are any coordinating dyes. Actually, I guess maybe the flowers coordinate. But there are a bunch of flowers again. I don't really use the flowers. And I was like, oh, maybe I won't get it. Because I don't really use the dyes. Except for, like, the main one. But I love this envelope dye. This one is going to be so cool. I can't wait to play with that. I'm not sure if I'm going to see, like... It's all grody. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to play with the and well the dyes in general. I do kind of like the sprig. That's nice. I think I'm going to have to I'm going to start sending some of these dyes along with happy mail or swap mail cuz I just don't use them. And they're just kind of sitting here collecting. But this guy, he is cool. That's going to be really cool to put together. And I think the sample photos, they had them put them on cards. I think just in general, the envelope itself is going to be <laughs> pretty neat. And then, so it might coordinate with the flower. I don't think it does, though. None of the coordinates with the sentiments. Oh, I will keep those from the last one, though. Ones that actually cut out the sentiments. I'm not going to just give somebody. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> Alright, and then there are, I'm believing these are the dimensional stickers. I saw these, and this kind of sold the kit for me as well. These are so cute. They're like acetate frames, and then there's some flowers. 
For some reason, I thought they were shakers. Maybe I'm remembering something different. Or maybe I thought I would make them into shakers. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> yeah, that might have been my idea. I was like, oh, those will be perfect for shakers. I think that might have been. But we do also get some sequin mix. I'm excited about that in this blue. That is so pretty. Uh, we get the standard roll of tape. We have the standard uh, foam squares. Sometimes they call it something different. Oh my gosh. So gross. Uh, let's start with the paper pad. So this is the Sincerely Yours paper pad. I think this guy is just going to go back in the box. Ugh. So they're probably going to be the same quality of papers, I would assume. But, oh, look at that one. I think I could even translate my B stamp very nicely. Again, with that pink wood grain. It was cute. I liked it, but I don't think I would want more of it. So hopefully if I do... Oh, but that one, that's cute. <laughs> Some pink gingham. Blue hearts. Okay. Cute. Again, I don't see a correlating... Well, of course, those are postage stamps. I don't see very much of a coordinating theme here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> there is definitely some... Some weird... Hmm. This almost reminds me of the Girl Power paper pack that I got. It has kind of the same vibe. Ooh, that's cool. Just some ledger paper. Some telephones. <laughs> and then the repeats. Yeah, there's definitely some weird... Yeah. <laughs> But I think this will coordinate really well with that one paper pad. It's got like that 80s vibe, I think, is the the look. That's really interesting. Right, let's take a look at the die cut really quickly. Oh, grimy. We've got some tags. Oh, good. Two of the same one. Perfect. We have some horses. Okay. So this is Sincerely Yours. I was thinking like airmail. You are the best. Hooray. Okay. Some. That'll be good for the unicorn loaded envelope I'm doing. Gather these moments in your heart. Oh, okay. Here we go. Finally, some <laughs> male-related things. The, <laughs> the die cuts are not. <laughs> they do not pertain this month, let me tell you. Bouquet of flowers. I like that. That's cute. So, <laughs> a little RV. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Best friends. Um, okay, some of those little clips. That's good for a male. Some flowers. I like these because they go with the dimensionals. Some trees. This is so random. And I thought last month was, like, random. But... Laughter. Favorite. I kind of like that. That's cute. Friends. Are these supposed to be pens? I think so. Oh, three of those. Yeah, they're so tiny. Fun. Celebrate. Some different florals. Oh, that's a sun. Oh, here we go. Here's a letter. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Why are they so disconnected? Oh, wow, that one's not even... Mm. I feel like there's two different vibes going here. That's cute. It kind of looks like that bullet, bullet journal. Oh my gosh. Bullet journal. That's cute. I like the little washi up there. Beautiful things await you. Well, here's some little papers. That's cute. Little things matter most. Love always. Some different florals. That thanks a bunch will look really good with those. Well, here we go. That looks just like the stamp. I'll always be here for you. A globe. Okay. Some tickets. They always like to put in tickets, don't they? Telephone. More paper airplanes. Oh, hey there. A butterfly. I think these are supposed to look like post its with some washi. Oh, and <laughs> some little birds. Oh, here we go. Some little paper clips. Those are cute. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Am I am I the only one feeling this right now? Thank you. Yay you. <laughs> good times. This will be like really good embellishment clusters. So cute. Oh my gosh. Very special. Some little postage stamps. That again are not cut out. What the heck? I don't know. They like they really did really well last month. I mean, clearly there was some disconnect, but I was like, yeah, th this is really good. And now I'm kind of thinking, mm, oh my gosh, look. Did they get like a swarm of people just coming in and getting their box, and now they're getting. That one's kind of cute. We go to put a sentiment right on there. And then this thing. Just a random ticket with stripes. Oh, a little clipboard. This is going to be okay. I'm not sure how I'm going to put these together. I'm not really getting much inspiration right now. <laughs> it's like the hello my name is, but it says hello my darling. That's interesting. Oh, and then hello sunshine. Ooh. I might be able to do something. <laughs> That's giving me some sending hugs. That's cute. Okay. Have a lovely day. Some more little post-it notes. Happy to be here. Ooh, this is giving me some itchy nose. <sighs> So far, the stamp and the die are what I'm excited about. Oh, and those puffy stickers. The dimensionals. Meant to be. Lovely day. This is for you. Normally, I buy things because of the die cuts. This is... No. <laughs> Wonderful. I think I'm actually going to do more with the stamp set and maybe the die than the, the ephemera this time. Hmm, because I am not, I'm not liking the ephemera very much. These are cool. These will be a good just base and then put stuff on it for a card. This was weird, this die cut pack. And there's so many of them did not cut out all the way. So I'm kind of disappointed in that. I don't know if I'm going to buy the next one. I guess it'll depend on the stamp set and the die. If there's a large die that I like, and if there's a stamp set that I actually like. We also have some papers included. 
again dirty <laughs> but it looks like I can just brush it off and it'll be fine we have some oh, that blue is gorgeous again some gold I'm excited about that some pink see look at that I don't know if you guys can see that it's just like dirt I'm mm. but everything seems to be here how many pieces of cardstock one two three four five six seven eight nine so everything's here I can't really complain I guess <laughs> Some thick cardstock. I feel like it's thicker than last time. So, I, <laughs> I kind of did the good stuff first. So it's leaving it on a sour note. <laughs> I, I think the ephemera is a miss this time. I think the paper pad. I love the papers, but for the theme, no. I think they missed. They're so weird. It definitely feels like there's like two or three different themes going on behind here that I am not receiving. <laughs> I'm not understanding this here. <laughs> what is going on <laughs> but I do love these these are so cool but for what is it 40 bucks 35 bucks a sticker sheet a stamp set a die set and I guess the cardstock because you can't go wrong with cardstock <laughs> is that 30 bucks worth I mean Granted, most stamps nowadays are 15 to $20, so I guess it's worth it. <laughs> and I love the papers. Well, some of them. So, yes, I'm just, I'm not excited as this, as excited for this pack as I am, as I was for last month. <laughs> Last month was just so good. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, maybe this was a bad decision. I don't know if I'm signed up for more than this month, though. So I definitely can make stuff with this. I think I'm going to probably pull in a lot of other stuff. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to, I'll probably just come in later in the month with whatever I made. I might do a, like a 10 cards, one kit, whatever, with this one, just so I can craft along with you guys. What do you guys think? Do you want that? Or would you rather just see a project share at the end of the month of what I've made with the kit? Hopefully I can get it done quick, because, well, I mean, if you guys wanted to purchase it, or if you already purchased it, I feel like I want to <laughs> get that done quick so you guys can get some inspiration. This one's a tough one. This one's weird. I think it's going to be interesting to see what I can come up with. I think if I pull in that, what is it called? It's like the Power Girls or someone like that. Paper pad with the ephemera. I think we can make it work. <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me while we unboxed my Spellbinders April kit. Uh, card kit of the month. And I hope you guys are having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.